Hi, I'm Charlotte Lawson, a registered and licensed dietitian, and I'm here to help you calculate the amount of calories you need per day. Now keep in mind the amount of calories you need per day may not be actually what you consume, but today we're really going to cover our resting energy expenditure, meaning what our body requires to function daily as far as beating our heart, our lungs, even blinking our eyes, but not necessarily incorporating other daily physical activity. And there's a small conversion factor that we'll go over. First, obviously, you need a pen and paper, probably a calculator, as this is pretty kind of a difficult equation. And then as far as the equation, make sure that you're looking up an accredited source. This could be Mifflin St. Gior, which we're using today, or the very common Harris Benedict. Now I have an example here where I'm going to use myself, and we'll plug this right into this calculation. If you see here, the Mifflin St. Gior equation, again for resting energy expenditure. Now I'm going to use my information here for the woman. So I'm going to slide my paper up. Okay. So now here we have weight in kilograms. I know that I weigh about 140 pounds. So 140 divided by 2.2 equals 63.6 kilograms of body weight. We're going to multiply that by 10. Then I need to go here and look at my height. Now height is in centimeters. I know that I'm 5 foot 4, so that's 64 inches, divided by 2.54, that's the conversion factor, and I am, oh excuse me, multiply, <laughs> 64 times 2.54 is 162. 162.5, we'll give myself the benefit of the doubt, <laughs> centimeters, and multiply that by 6.25. Now we're going to subtract 5 multiplied by my age. I'm 25 years old, so we'll put this in here, 25. And again, because we're female, we have a 161, or because I'm female. So let's plug in this big equation here. I have 63.6 multiplied by 10, which is the easy 636 plus 6.25 times 162.5, which is my height in centimeters. This is a bigger number here, 1015.6, minus 5 times 25, 125, minus the 161. So let's plug this all into my calculator here. 636 plus 1015.6, minus 125 minus 161 equals about 1300 calories. I came up with 1365.6. Now again, this number here is my resting energy expenditure, meaning if I was bedridden or not really incorporating any sort of other exercise or even daily movement, my body would require almost 1400 calories to maintain the current weight that I'm at. Now I am physically active, so on top of this, we can incorporate a certain physical activity level. Now there's different ranges depending on how active you are. Here are some of the basic ones. Now again, like I mentioned, comatose is absolutely nothing, but this even has some small um, activity factor, if you will. I'm going to use 1,400 calories, which is why I kind of rounded up, and I'm going to multiply it by my normal ADLs, which is 1.5. I get about 2,100 calories. This is what my body has been utilizing on a day-to-day -day basis with average daily living needs, which is your ADLs. So again, our resting energy expenditure is a little bit different than our daily activity needs, and my body to maintain my weight is using, using about 2,000 calories. Now again, very different for each person depending on your height, your weight, your age, and your sex. As you can see, all of those were incorporated into that equation in the very beginning. Now I use Mifflin St. Gior here, but you can also use the Harris Benedict, or sometimes go online to an accredited source that maybe has the resting energy expenditure calculator for you. And that's just a little bit of information on how you calculate your daily calorie needs. I'm Charlotte, and eat happy.